Here's Johnny. Or more appropriately, Johnny's back. Johnny Matheny recently returned to the Applied Physics Lab in Laurel, Maryland to continue his work with the Modular Prosthetic Limbs Science Team. But this time, his arm looked a bit different. Johnny had a procedure called osseointegration, which is where an implant is attached directly to the bone. <laughs> Combined with the targeted muscle reinnervation surgery, which allowed him to be able to access the missing neuronal information due to the loss of the limb, makes Johnny the first person in the world to have both procedures. It moves the whole field forward and not just a small step. I mean, it is really a, a big jump. Everything else is good. Johnny is the first person to have this surgery done in the United States. And through it, he is now able to control the arm much better. I think he will inspire others to kind of follow in his footsteps. His surgery to get the implant was voluntary on his part. And he basically said, I'm doing this, but I'd like to still work with the MPL if possible. So we went ahead and, and worked with the implant company and uh, the surgeon to make sure that we were coming up with something that would be safe and enable that to continue to happen. The APL arm is the most unique arm I've ever worn. It has the ability to do anything that your natural hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder can do. Whereas other arms, you know, there's limits. What we've witnessed today really is a game changer. Having the osteointegration implant, it no longer shackles us and be dependent on a socket. The MPL now really is a natural extension of his arm. We no longer have the supportive strap. There are two wireless myobands that um, Johnny wears very comfortably that now records that muscle activity. Not only has it improved Johnny's comfort, the aesthetic quality of the MPL itself, but also our control has been phenomenal. Johnny's the, he's the ultimate systems integrator, right? I mean, he's doing exactly what, what we at APL try to do, is to bring together these different technologies, uh, bring together different researchers and commercial entities to get the best solution. And it's not the best solution just for him. I mean, he really feels strongly about being able to advance the science for guys that are coming through Walter Reed, um, you know, people that have uh, congenital amputations. Um, so he really has the wider community in mind. I had three kids that was in the in the service, and each one of them, thank goodness, has got to come back with all their extremities. But they had buddies that wasn't so lucky, and I see that, and I said, you know, this is this I can do. I can try to help all amputees, not just me. I said, you know, I help all amputees, and they're talking about they need somebody that that can do this and you know be committed. But I tell you, my commitment runs deep. I set a goal for me personally to try to bring forth a prosthetic that would be as near a normal human arm that you can get. Another goal for Johnny is to be able to go home one day with the modular prosthetic limb. Now Johnny's in his environment at the house. Get out of my kitchen, I'm going to town. And I'm going in and, and the MPL and I are going to fix our first meal. Where'd you go, buddy? For all the incredible things that we see Johnny doing with the MPL, when we're finished here in the lab, he has to leave it here and go home. And, you know, boy, we really want to enable him to leave with that arm and to use it every day. And that's what, what Johnny wants too. And, and, and that's the great thing about APL, right? We don't stop at the laboratory. We show things work in the, on the bench as a way of getting them into the field. And it's, it's no different here, you know, unless that technology gets in the hands of the injured warfighter, and we haven't really fulfilled our mission. <laughs>